Good evening, everyone. I'm Marian Massoni from the Film Society of Lincoln Center. And I'm a member of the Selection Committee for New Directors, New Films. And on behalf of my colleagues at the Film Society and at the Museum of Modern Art, I want to welcome you to the 41st edition of New Directors, New Films. Um, I'm thrilled to have you all here. We're thrilled. We think we have a really terrific lineup this year. And if you're reading things like Time Out New York and The Voice and The New York Times, you'll find that the critics agree with me. I'm always very happy about that. Uh, anyway, um, tonight, uh, Las Acacias, uh, the first film we're showing here in the Walter Reed Theater. Um, Las Acacias has won a number of awards, among them the Camera Door, which is the prize for the best first feature film at the Cannes Film Festival. So uh, that's an incredibly prestigious award. And we're thrilled and delighted that the filmmaker is here and that we get to show this film here. Um, I want to thank Outsider Pictures, who are the, the distributors of this film. We're always happy when films get distribution, so more people in the United States can see them. So great news for them and for us and for the film. Yes, and you can applaud films getting picked up by distributors because, <laughs> you know, you don't want to be the only ones who see this film in the United States. You want uh, your friends all over the country to see it. And also, I want to give a special thanks to the Consulate General of Argentina, who actually helped make Pablo's travel here to uh, New Directors, New Films possible. We thank them very much for all the support they give us and filmmakers. <laughs> and you may also applaud them. Absolutely. Okay, let's uh, get on with it. I, as I said before, the filmmaker is here. Um, he's also going to be here afterwards, um, so please stay, uh, and we shall have a great q and I hope. Um, but right now, he's going to come up to introduce the film. Please welcome Pablo Diogelli. Bueno. Um, thank you very much for coming. First, I speak very bad English, sorry. Uh, thank you for coming for me. It's a big honor to be here. Uh, I really want to show my film here in New York. Then I am really grateful with new directors, new films for inviting my film. I want also to say thank you to the Argentinian consulate who helped me a lot to come here and Make this film took me five years. I began to write in 2006. And for me, still, it's incredible to see people uh, who come <laughs> to see my film. For me, still incredible. And I would like to that you can see my film uh, without te voy a pedir ayuda, como si no hubiera ganado ningún premio. As if it had not won any awards. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, the awards are just a coincidence. And at the end of the screening, I will be here to talk with you. Thank you very much for coming. Please welcome again Pablo Giorgelli. Pablo. And helping us with the translation is our own Marcella Goglio, who helped a little bit out before, so you'll recognize her. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll start, and then we'll throw it out um, to everyone here. Um, I, wa I want to ask you about, uh, well, the beginnings, the idea, how it came to you to, make, to tell this story and make this film. It was a, it's a long story because make this film took me. Sorry, my phone is calling. I think it's my mother. <laughs> Maybe. No, it's my wife. Ah. She asked me how was the screening. Her timing is perfect. <laughs> it's incredible, perfect. Um, it was a long story because um, I began to write six, almost six years ago. Uh, and in that moment, I didn't have so clear because <laughs> how this story came to me. At the beginning, uh, it was just 
notes about loneliness, about anguish, about fatherhood, something. I, I, I have not, but one day the truck driver character appears suddenly and I was writing a follow an insti instinct, but I had not clear why. Later, two years later, <laughs> when I was the first version finished, I began to understand that this story came from a personal crisis. Uh, Ten years ago, my father uh, became sick. And also I was, in that time, in a very deep personal crisis. Uh, in Argentina, we had a big economic crisis 11 years ago, and I was without job during a long time. I almost lose my house, a, a difficult time. Besides, la frutilla del postre. Okay, the, 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 the end of the story. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, no separé. I, I separated of my girlfriend all, all at the same time. And later I began to understand that this film came from that time, from that crisis. And I think that the film talks about fatherhood and also about loneliness. Uh, and in one sense, I think that the viaje interior the internal voyage that Ruben uh, did is not so far that my internal voyage in these last 10, 11 years. Uh, also, I met my wife during this process and I, I can find some similitudes similarities. Thank you. So um, and I, I read a, a brief biography you had made before this. You had made documentaries, I believe, and, uh, and, and some short films. So did you, and I, I, I understand how it was ideas and things, and I find that very interesting as opposed to, uh, you know, I want to tell a story about a particular person. Did you but did you say, I'm going to make a feature film and then start thinking about it, about wh what you would make as your feature film? Or did you just have ideas that you started to write down? Yes, yes, of course. Yes, because I was, uh, before, this, this is my first film, mm -hmm. but before, uh, I always was very close to the cinema. I studied cinema. Uh, I was editor. Uh, I made documentaries for TV. And also, I was writing uh, two scripts before this. But I couldn't transform this script in films for different reasons, personal reasons and economic reasons. And I always was thinking uh, in make a film. I always uh, wanted to make a film. Um, and I always thought that my first film uh, arrived early. <laughs> Not now. Uh, but for these personal reasons, I must work uh, in Argentina. I, I need to work, and several times I I need to postpone the my personal projects. But when I uh, began to write these first ideas, already uh, I was thinking in make a film with this idea. Uh, 
and at the beginning just I didn't know that the story Eva uh, Esther would become about a truck driver and a father of these things uh, was uh, were appearing during the process. I was writing during two years with another scriptwriter, uh, a friend, and it was a long process. Uh, and the script is very, very similar to the film. Mm -hmm. uh, the film is not improvised, just a few things, of course, uh, some things that the baby do are were spontaneous <laughs> things, <laughs> like the sneeze or some smile. I think that she understood exactly what we que estábamos haciendo, what we were doing. <laughs> uh, but the rest of the thing uh, are totally written. Uh, maybe we change some dialogue or something. And I, we uh, rehearsed uh, a lot before, just with the actors. And uh, we uh, found the baby just one month before the shooting. At the beginning, we were looking for twins or triple yeah, to have to many babies to, to change. And uh, but she appears one day, and it was incredible bec because already in the casting, uh, I felt that she was special. Uh, after talking with her parents, mm -hmm. the mother passed me the baby, and I hold the baby, and she looked at me very fixed to my eyes, <laughs> without fear, even. It was a little intimidated because, mm. <laughs> and okay, I, it was, uh, and after that, uh, when I gather uh, the baby, the, the actress, who is not a professional actress, and also who is not her mother, mm -hmm. uh, it was magic, <laughs> because they look like real mother and daughters. So that's very, it's, it's very amazing. I was going to actually leave it to somebody else to ask about the casting and the baby, but you really brought us into it. And, and it's amazing that it's not mother and daughter because I was just convinced that it was, that you know, the actress must have come with, yeah. with the baby. She has three boys. Yes. How old was the baby when, um, when you were shooting it? Five months old. Uh, and it was incredible. We have two babies and one puppet. Uh, that is one of the secrets of this film. Th the film looks very simple, but it was very, very difficult. It was a, very, a film very difficult to do. Very difficult um, to, to achieve this intimate tone. Uh, it was very difficult because we were around 40 uh, persons on the crew, four trucks, two cars, uh, uh, two babies with the her mother, um, and uh, the baby girl uh, was five months old, and her cousin, the La Doble, La Doble Child, the double baby, uh, was one month less. De, no eran muy parecidas de cara. They didn't look alike, alike too much. Uh, the body are very similar, but not the face. And for cover, just in case, we also have a puppet, a seven kilo puppet. <laughs> and it looked like Chucky. The, the, the front is was terrible, <laughs> but in the back, it was okay. Now, now I'm not so sure I wanted to know that much about the, 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 the dummy, but no, <laughs> actually, I do want to know more I about this. I can show you a picture yeah, of Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll look at that, but, let, uh, but let's see. Let's, uh, let's go to the audience as well. We can go back to that. Yes, that gentleman right there. Oh, what does the title mean? 
the, the title is the name of a tree, acacia. Is is the same name in English, yeah. the acacia tree. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think that uh, there are uh, several aspects. Uh, the more literal exist. Mm -hmm. The more literal aspect is the the trunks, the logs that the truck driver transport. Um, but I, I also want uh, a title more poetic, uh, not so. No quería un título tan conclusivo que te cuente la película. He didn't want a, t a title that would give away the anything about the movie that would tell you what the movie was about. Uh, I, I want something more que sugiera, suggest, suggest. and uh, at the same time, I I, I think that there is some kind of metaphor between uh, the character of the truck driver and these trees, these hard uh, but noble trees. And even uh, I discovered later in a prueba de vestuario, in, in a dress uh, rehearsal, I discovered his mark. It's a real scar, scar, scar. And in that moment, I thought it's like a tree because also the, the tree from the beginning are cut like him. And this is, uh, of course, uh, an association posterior. That association that I made later, but uh, um, I I love to to find these things and this is yes. Mm -hmm. This is a question about how long did you shoot and how long did you edit. The shooting was the the shorter stage, the shorter period. Uh, we uh, shot just five weeks um, because the baby grow up quickly, <laughs> <laughs> but mainly because we have not a lot of money. And the edition, uh, we were editing during seven months uh, with uh, parando y stopping and starting again uh, with my wife. My wife is the editor of the film and we edit in our house during seven months and it was a disaster because, uh, n not for the movie, mm -hmm. for the movie was great uh, and we work very well together. We met each other working. Uh, but uh, it was a long process and your house, my house, our house, uh, transformed in a editing room. Then the house is a disaster, but for the movie was great. And I think that uh, we can find finally the exactly tone and the exactly rhythm of the film I during the edition. Uh, the first cut, uh, the running time of, of the first cut was uh, 127 minutes. We take out, sacamos, we, we took out almost 40 minutes. Uh, and that version was really unbearable. This is <laughs> Well, I, th I think we did the title. The title was the first question. It's the name of a tree, uh, Acacias. Um, but the, and the second question is, how has the film been received in Argentina? Has it been released there? Pretty well. Th the film is already in cinemas. We released the film in November. Um, it's not usual s uh, still continuing cinemas three months later. 
and for this kind of film and for the release that we had, uh, it was pretty well. Uh, the, the release uh, was not a big release, of course. Uh, for this kind of film, it's very difficult to have access to the commercial, to the good commercial theaters. No, uh, it's very difficult for us. Um, for example, in France, um, fue mucho mejor. Uh, went much more better. Uh, we release in in Argentina. We release in just in twelve cinemas uh, in Buenos Aires. Um, in France, we release in seventy cinemas, uh, and still the film continue in cinema. And yesterday I received a message uh, from France and we have uh, 100,000 admissions, which is very good for a film like, like this film. I imagine that even in Argentina, as well as sort of everywhere in the world, that the films have to compete with Hollywood, big Hollywood films. Yes, and that's yes of course. It happens everywhere. Yes. I mean Thank you. Let's see. Let's go in the back. Anybody in the back with their hands up? Oh, yes. Left. Um, hopefully you heard most of this because uh, this woman is in the back. Uh, it's a question about the actor and how um, um, Pablo worked with the actor who played Ruben. And also a comment on the cinematography, um, which you found very beautiful, and I have to say I agree with you. And, and also it is, and it's a role where there's not a lot of speaking. So, so much of what they are doing is, yes. is in their faces. Yes, yes, uh, I completely agree with you. For me, he's a genius, and I think that he's a great actor. Uh, but I need time to find him, uh, and I need time to to decide to work with actors. Because at the beginning, I I was looking for real truck drivers. Almost during one year, I made casting looking for real truck drivers, and. Uh, this uh, don't work very well for me, but I discovered that later when because I, I don't want improvise. For me, it was important to follow the script. Uh, then uh, I decided to made a casting for actors, and I found him. I find I found him in in a casting, and immediately I felt that. He was perfect. Uh, the casting was very, very simple. I asked for him if he can tell me a personal story that he wants, what he wants. And he told me about his son. And <laughs> for me, it was very touching. Now. Right now, I remember this moment, and it was incredible because he was like Ruben. Nevertheless, uh, we rehearsed a, a lot before, uh, and for me, was uh, easy work with him because he is very intelligent. Uh, besides, of course, is a great actor. He is a theater actor. This is his first role, his first main role. He had several roles in many Argentinian movies, but secondary roles. And for me, it was very easy work with him because he understood immediately uh, 
el tono que yo quería darle a la película. The tone that he wanted to give the movie. This idea of not remark, of not highlight nothing. Uh, for that reason, the, the movie, all the movie is based in this idea of not remark, highlight, or overact. Uh, we were trying to do this. Uh, for that reason, for example, no, for that reason, but uh, several elements point to this idea of not remark, no señalarle al público lo que debe ver. Don't uh, show the audience what they're supposed to look at. And for that reason, for example, uh, I don't use music uh, or I choose this point of view. The point of view of the, the, the movie is their point of view, the, the point of view of the characters. We saw the journey, the trip, as they see through the windshield, through the windows. Uh, I don't want an external point of view of the director watching uh, his characters from outside. And with this idea, we rehearse a lot. And already in the script, these things are were written. The, the other day, somebody asked me, uh, oh, not, not asked me, said me, uh, your script maybe has 12 pages. And I said, no. The script has 85. <laughs> <laughs> and it's incredible because the, the scenes uh, without dialogues are totally written. And uh, we work a lot together with the idea of not make too much gestures or these kind of things. Besides, he is a genius and a great actor and is his merit. And in the case of her, she's not an actress. And it was so curious because I found her uh, because she was the production assistant of the person who, make, who made the casting in Paraguay. Then, la tuve a ella muchos meses a mi lado hasta que un día decidí hacerle una prueba porque lucía perfecta para Jacinta. She worked by my side for many, many months until one day I decided to, to give her a, a test uh, because uh, she, and she was exactly what Jacinta was in my mind. And also I discovered that she is an incredible natural actress. She is very, very good and she's very different to her real life. In her daily life, she speaks a lot and she's totally different than Jacinta. And it was curious. Yes. Uh, 
Well, we actually have, this gentleman is Paraguayan, and uh, so he was very impressed, and so one would assume that uh, the actress who played Jacinta was not from Paraguay, but that she did an incredible job. I think most people heard um, you know, what you said about, about this idea of the Paraguayans who, who go to Argentina, and, um, and, and, and yes, so you can talk you. a little bit more about that. Yes, uh, she, she, was, she is from Aregua, Yes, ah. it's very near to Asuncion, 30 kilometers to Asuncion. And I went several times to Paraguay during these five years, several, several times, uh, because I want to find the actress for Jacinta in Paraguay. My idea was always work with a Paraguayan woman, not an actress, a woman. And I was looking for Jacinta in different places, and in Asunción, for example, and Mercado Cuatro. It's an incredible place. I love Mercado Cuatro, Market Four. It's an incredible market in Asunción. I want to make a movie there. <laughs> this is incredible. Uh, and I was looking, we were looking for Jacinta in different places in Asunción, uh, in markets, in schools, in hospitals, in the streets. Uh, and Eve, the name of the actress is Eve, she was the assistant, the production assistant of the person who looking for Jacintas. Her job <laughs> was precisely look for Jacintas to show me. <laughs> this is incredible. And one day, uh, the person who made the casting exhausted because I don't like any woman. I said, no, 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 no. She, uh, Arta, <laughs> tired, uh, she said to me, okay, Pablo, how do you imagine Jacinta? It's like her. <laughs> I said, wow. And it was incredible because she is for me, she's incredible. For me, she's very, very touching. And she uh, le dio, give, gave to the character a lot of Paraguayan details that I didn't know too much. Uh, but me preocupé todo el tiempo. I was worried all the time about the Paraguayan details. And I work a lot about this during the script, during the casting, of, of course, during the shooting. Well, it's, it's, it sounds like you, yeah, you get, you get a good okay from there. Unhappily, that's all the time we have for questions. Um, I wanna, Pablo, I wanna thank you for this really, really, really wonderful film. And we thank all of you for being here. Thank you for coming. Bravo. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you.